Good evening again. It's been a few days since I played uh, 2K23, and instead of playing career mode, I thought we'd jump into a, uh, a custom course. So I spotted one on Twitter by a guy called, well, his, his Twitter handle is Nick Gen Stats, um, Nick Schrader, I think his name is, and he's published this course, which I believe was on 2K21, and he's ported it over, um, called the Royal Horwich Golf Club. That's the correct pronunciation. I like the look of it from the screenshots he included on Twitter. Um, just have a quick look at the stats. So it's a par 71. It says it's easy. It's not rated yet. Um, relatively short course-ish. Um, fast greens. So I thought we'd just um, jump right in. I haven't played this before. And we'll give it a go. See what we like. Um, yeah, uh, what I'll do is I'll 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 leave a link to his uh, Twitter in the description if you guys want to check out his Twitter because he's um, got some screenshots and information. I don't know if he's done any other courses. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't actually have. Normally, you can see the designer when you go on the course, but it's grayed out. I don't know if that's because it's over, so that doesn't try transfer across. Um, but yeah, thank you, Nick. I'll give this a. Give us a go and see what I think of it. Um, lovely um, first tee there. Look at that view. Um, wow. That's pretty stunning. So we've got a par 4 to start with. Although we'll potentially make this in 1. Um, let's have a look. Yeah. Probably want to put a bit of... Uh, Fade. Like I say, I haven't played this in a while, so this could go wrong. Well, I hit that pretty sweetly there. Sorry if he got a big, um, a big stutter there. No, big bounce, big bounce. Come on, big bounce. Oof. Over the crest. We'll go over the crest. Let's speed this up a bit. Well, do you know what? It's better there than where it was. Um, potentially got a chip in here. Not chip in, a chip. Um, yeah, I haven't played the game for... I don't know how long. Quite a few days. Oh, nice chip. Um, if you've happened to watch my channel, I've been playing a bit of Pez 6. But I did have a, a break for quite a few days just playing any games. Just had a lot on with work. Um, and just needed a break from it, to be honest. Um, just do other stuff. So got a par 3. Again, that's very picturesque. And yet you zoom in, you've got the water there. So, hmm. so it should play about 154. I think we might play it about here. Um, and hope that it just doesn't bounce too hard. Yeah, the wind did take it a little bit further left than I thought, but that's... I mean, that's pretty much spot on, isn't it? Nice. Do check my other videos if you can. I am my first ever recorded 2K23 round. I am, I actually got a hold on one, so check that out. Um, yeah, I was showcasing another course um, from a friend of mine and managed to get a hold on one, so I'm quite happy with that. This is an interesting one, so it's technically a par four, but looks like you can. Well, you got bunkers there, so. Do we want to try and sneak? Because if you look there, it's, ooh, you can hope for a bit of luck here with a bounce. Just don't want this to go on the bunker. This may kick too far right. Yeah. N nicely placed bunkers though. I like that. And actually, I'm playing this after the patch that's just went live as of, um, well, I'm playing on the 17th of November. I think the 
patch went live a couple of days ago. I haven't played it um, since then, so I'm not sure how difficult or what changes they've been making. Um, I'm not the best at splash shots out of the bunker. Nope, that's pretty good. Look at that view. That's stunning. And anyone that's played any custom courses they would really like to see or just recommend trying, um, you know, please leave a comment down below. Now, obviously, I'm playing through Korea, and they're all official courses, or at least official to um, 2K or HB Studios. Um, but yeah, some of the custom courses are absolutely amazing. Um, just got a, a lovely feel to them, some of them. So this is playing about 93-ish. Um, do we maybe want to try and drop this in like that? What's the lie? The lie's pretty good. Just trying to get my feel back in as well. Um, it should stop pretty much dead on. Yeah, nice. Pretty impressive start. Uh, four under through four. Um, par three. So it's 196. It's playing about, say, 192-ish. Um, I think we might play it as a 187. I'm going to aim dead at the flag because it will drift left a little bit, but then the slope's going to bring it back in. Um, yeah, and let's have a quick look, actually. Yeah, I will leave it like that. Just hopefully it bounces fairly softly. I, I just don't want it to stop dead too much. Um, it's gone a bit further left than what I thought with that wind. Yeah, I should have put some loft in. I wasn't sure. Um, probably being a bit greedy there. Oof, this is a... But again, look at that view. Lovely. So... I'm going to say this is probably about maybe two and a half out. No, safe, but I mean, where it's finished, you know, it's three foot wide. So that was the first long putt we've had, though. So, you know, trying to get used to the green speeds. Again, I just want to say. Um, some absolute stunning shots here. Um, so Nick, thank you very much. This is a, a lovely looking course. Okay, so par five. You've got this area over here as well. So you could aim for here. Yeah, you could maybe aim over here, or that is quite a thin. Uh, that's it. We're going to aim over here. Left, just aim for sort of left edge and bring it back into the right. I hope it is downhill, so it should easily make it on the fairway as long as we've got the. Uh, yep, yeah, that looks pretty much spot on. As long as it doesn't bounce weirdly, no, nope, that's fine. Yep, three twenty-five. Nice lie. Only 130 into the into the flag. The par five. Um, how do we want to play this? So take a couple of yards off. So maybe about 127 and just let it roll a tiny bit. Maybe will that stop too dead? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, 
hopefully some of the, um, the bugs have been fixed as well. Had a few. Nice. Could have aimed a little bit further left, but it was a bit safer there instead of, you can see the slope here, you don't want to risk going anywhere near that. And a safe short distance put for another eagle. For, no, for, sorry, first eagle. Not another eagle. Okay, so we've got a par four. Um, and again, this is makeable. So, just depends how it's going to bounce there. Probably actually want to draw it in a bit. Take some of the distance off. Hopefully it doesn't hit this big dip here, no. So, not bad. Yeah. Draw it a little bit too much, so we're in the rough, but it's not a bad chance at a, uh, an eagle chip in. And it's there. Very nice. Two eagles in a row. Nice. Now, I'm not going to view the replay simply because I've had some issues where replays have just crashed the game. Not sure why. Um, again, absolutely stunning view there. Don't roll in the bunker. Oh, that's all right. Um, do we want to play? What am I doing here? Yeah, maybe want to play a flop shot. Oh God, sorry, I'm going all over the place here. So flop shot forty six. Oh, that's an awkward light. Um. Pretty good aiming. Yeah. Put the brakes on a little bit too quickly, but that's fine. Turn. There we go, nicely done. And um, only the one hole we haven't been under power on so far. So clearly this is not, you know, what you would call... A, a difficult course um, but it is absolutely stunning to look at and I'm really enjoying it and this is actually a really nice course to get back into the, the swing of things on um, you know it's nice to have a challenge but sometimes it's just nice having a good round on a really good looking course so par five. Ah, this is a bit more of a challenge to get in here. I mean, obviously it's make easily makeable. I think what we'll do is we'll drop to a four iron. Um, now it's going to go right a bit, and then the wind's going to go left a bit. So I think we're going to leave that even a little bit right. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to? Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to actually use... The, I was thinking of using the iron and maybe deal off a bit, but I think this is the best option to go for. Hopefully I haven't put too much deal off on. That is beautiful. Stop there. That'll do. Well, it's on a little bit further than what I thought, but what, 20 foot or something? Yeah, 23 foot. Not bad at all. Um probably going to aim up there because it will turn sharply at first and it will straighten out might have aimed a little bit too far left just is it oh nice another eagle so got a par 4 
And I think what we'll do is, let's have a look at the, yeah, I think we'll draw this in a bit. Hopefully get on the fairway, but worst case scenario, even if we're rolling to the rough, it's going to be a fairly short distance, but that should be, yep, that's good. Could probably just do a, a flop shot here. Um, yep, I think a flop shot it is. Quite a severe slope there. Can add a bit of power just to take the break out a bit. You know, going into this course, I wasn't sure. It, you know, I didn't really do a lot of research on it. You know, how difficult it was or anything like that. So I really was not sure until I actually jumped in. Um, so two miles an hour. I'm gonna aim slightly right because that is dangerous there. And the wind is going well, very slightly left at the moment. Um, I think we'll put full D loft, uh, full loft on, almost. Just want this to softly land. It's a good area. Nice. I mean, I could have went flag hunting there, but there's just big risk of that slope, and we've got a good score. You know, we don't want to be leaving ourselves a really difficult two putt. Nice scorecard though. So, so we've got a par four. Dog leg right now. This one looks a bit more tricky. Um. Hmm. I mean, gonna take a bit of a risk here. It's quite a narrow fairway, but this should be good. That little slope there should keep it in the fairway. Yep. Yeah. Was it gonna go too far right? No. Speed that a bit on a bit of a down slope here into the right. Yeah. So, um, aim a bit right. Go for a pitch. That should. I hope it's going to not again have too much backspin. It's overshot a bit actually. That's ah, probably because I was on the um, I was on the downslope, wasn't it? So it pushes the ball forward a bit almost. Um. <coughs> Looks about right, I think. No. Turned quite a bit further than I thought. And that's not... Well, that's not the best place to leave it there. It looks like there's not really any break, but... Um, squeaked it in. Par 3. You know, I'd love to get another hole in one. Really would. So this is going to play about 193. I think we'll leave it as this. Yeah. Um. Not even too far right, because the guess the wind will take a left, but do not want to be going too far right of the flag stick. Flag stick here. Bounce. Nice. Keep going. Close. I can see me having some good um, hole-in-one attempts on this course if I try it a few times. And a nice putt there. Ten footer. And again, you see only two holes that we've um, got a par on. Bogey free so far. Par five. Let's have an overview. So again, you've got potentially a, a narrow fairway here you could aim for. 
Um, yeah, that looks like a good spot over there, doesn't it? Now it's uphill, which is actually probably a good thing. Might stop it a bit quicker. It's a decent size area here. And I like the fact that the fairies don't have some ridiculous slopes where sometimes you just get very unlucky. Um I don't mind having narrow fairways, but ones where they just you know, where you are relying on luck, I, I'm not really keen on. Um this will go slightly left and then with the wind don't want to hit there, so probably aim about here. If it if it's over here that's fine. It's playing about one sixty two. So I think we'll put well, the wind's now a little bit more in my face, so... Yeah. Obviously, it will have a bit of roll. Well, it's looking good. Oh. Stop dead. Nice. Another eagle. One, two, three, four eagles. Pretty sure that'll be the most I've gotten around. Um, okay. So again, probably just take a chance and just... Maybe here, actually. So if you go this side, even if you make it, it's probably going to stay over here or go over there, but... Um, yeah, if I thread that Thread it through there. Now again, you know, get a little bit of luck with a bounce. This is, I mean, it's about as perfect as you can get. Will it get a good bounce? Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait, stop. Nice. Oh, look at that. I love that layout there. You can really, got a couple of decent options. Uh, not an easy put for only you know an eight or nine footer. Oh, it did turn quite sharply before, so I've taken the risk and put a bit of power on. Ooh. Just wide. Oh. So on the 16th, another par 5. The wind's picked up a bit. Lean left side of the fairway. Again, some nice backdrops there with the mountains. And the sea looks absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at that. It'd be a great screenshot, wouldn't it? So, got 149 yards. Um, say, maybe about 155-ish, which is good for this. Two, three, four, five. Probably want to aim out here. If it goes over here, that's fine. If it's As long as it's not too far on this plateau, but that should do. Um... I've got the direction right now. That's, that looks good. That looks good. Bounce a little bit. Ooh. Very close. I don't know what is going on today. Why am I um, so dialed into the pins? Uh, like I say, I know it's not, not the most difficult course, but still. Um, so, par 3. Playing about... We'll say 174. The wind's helping a little bit. So probably an 8 iron's okay. I think we'll aim yeah, about here. I love the th three click swing. If you haven't tried it, you know, at least try do a couple of rounds with it. It's a bit different. Um, yeah, it just didn't carry as much as I thought. 
and they didn't turn really either. So I'm going to say a full a full meter, pretty much. Again, I wish they would change this view. I know you can. There's a setting where you can put a follow cam on or off. If you turn it off, though, I don't like the views from the the T and nine shots, etc. But it's better for the putting view. Um, I wish I had an option where you could choose. You want follow cam on, you know, normal shots and put shots, as separate sort of things. Anyway. Don't get me wrong, I, I love this game, but there are, you know, issues that need to be resolved. And I don't play online, and I have heard there's some issues with the, the online system and stuff as well, so. Um, but we've had on today, so far. Apart from that little, you know, sometimes the camera's not great. So, this will play about 125, and then with the win about 123. Um... It's going fairly left, and the wind's going left. You really don't want to over here. So, yeah, let's do that. It should stop relatively quickly. Not that quickly. Now, that was a bit of a mistake. I should have put a bit of spin on because, you know, if you've got a tailwind, it obviously does push the ball not just further, but it gives it more momentum when it lands. Lovely shot there. Now, this would be lov lovely to get... Put this in. So... Again, I'm going to say a full metre. When I say metre, one of these... Squares is a metre wide, or well, it's a metre squared, um, which is not exactly a yard. Ugh, close, but not quite. But I would say that was a pretty good round. Um, all things considered, I thought that was pretty good. Um, but the main thing was the showcase in the course, which, again, I'm definitely going to favour that one and give it five star on the wings because I thought it was beautiful. Um, so, like I say, thank you very much um, to uh, Nick Nick Schreiter or Schreiter, I think his name is. Um, I will leave a link to his Twitter on this, and and when I um, I'll share the video on Twitter as well, and I'll I'll tag him in it as well. Um, I don't actually know him; I just seen him on me um, some of the courses that he was showcasing. So, thank you very much again for joining. And um, you know, if you do have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. You know, what you'd like to see? Are there any courses you recommend? And are there any other games you'd like to see as well? Um, but I'll speak to you all soon.